Today, guys, we're going to talk about Elemental. This is a recent Pixar production that was released to theaters to box office bombs, and it also was subject to some really terrible marketing over on TikTok that really made people very wary of the film or go into the film with some sort of hatred for it because they really, really hate those strange ads on TikTok that they get. However, that was just a mistake probably by some young intern that was working with the social media team that, you know, went out and produced this film or, you know, was trying to get it out to the people, and it was just a bad idea overall however this movie itself was very good i very much enjoyed the entire film and i love how the kind of uh, idea between it or the entire idea of the film is that there are different elements and that they can't mix and generally speaking it's a very overt and obvious kind of uh, allegory or uh, metaphor for race and it's very obvious that it's very pro like uh, interracial relationships as well as like just uh, interracial societies and whatnot and the entire thing is just supposed to be an exercise in how everything can mesh in its own way even if it's seemingly opposite and so the entire film follows a, a girl who's named Ember who uh, it's kind of hard to tell I think the family is supposed to be Asian uh, even though uh, and, and Asian people do have spicy food with some very 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 spicy food uh, especially uh, the, uh, Korean I've had some very spicy Korean food but one of the matter is is they they never really say what race is supposed to be what however i uh, at the girl from the family of the fire family was also voiced by an asian girl where the uh guy was voiced by a black man and so generally speaking i think like uh, and then on top of that there's some metaphors that are shown where like the uh parents of the daughter are fresh off the boat so to speak and they are like immigrants that just came to america and opened up a shop in order to make a better life for themselves and they had to leave their their older ways and, and their old family behind and whatnot and so that kind of story also again makes me believe that yeah this is an asian family and so generally speaking throughout the entire thing what we get is almost a romeo and juliet style story these two are told that they can never be together by society as well as by uh, the parents of ember however it just took a supportive family in the water guy i don't remember his name uh in, in it took one supportive person or one support a family in order to get her to be more comfortable with the idea of mixing elements on top of that there's this really cool scene where uh, one of the air cloud things blows a bubble for her into the water which she then gets into and then kind of uh, is taken around through the underwater area and section uh, you know through this bubble and the, the water guy just drags her around it's this really cool moment where she gets to see something she thought she would never get to see and he's really happy because he got to give her something that she's really happy about on top of that there's like this question of like can they mix is it good for them and finally when they do touch what they realize is yeah there are some issues there but if you just stick to it you can get through it and i think that that is like the best message that you could possibly give sure interracial relationships can be hard to have because you get pushback from society to certain degrees as well as pushback potentially by certain family members but generally speaking i've seen some of the best relationships be interracial in my personal life and on top of that have been in some pretty strong and healthy interracial relationships myself generally speaking i think that like the idea that we shouldn't be meshing or that we shouldn't be together because we're of a different race is absolutely ridiculous and the idea idea that this movie pushes that hey you know you will get that pushback from society and whatnot but if you stick to it you'll get through it i think that mentality is the one that we really should have as a society and i feel like i see it more and more in gen z generally speaking i think the main issues with this film are just going to be that it wasn't like uh pixar's like soul you know what i mean it's not one of the top films that i've ever seen from them but it was still a very good kids film and i still got a lot out of it myself i would say for me this is a a three out of four and it may be even up to a 3.25 especially for kids i think this is a fantastic movie to watch and even as an adult i got some enjoyment out of it even though again it's nothing 
uh, groundbreaking to me, like uh, Pixar's Soul, but it has a lot of really good metaphors that are like directly kind of shown visually, as well as it just really gets to the heart of an issue very quickly in a very unique and fun way. Uh, on top of that, I also didn't mention that she, Ember, doesn't really want to run the store anymore, even though that was her dream as a kid. She wants to move on and live her own life, and she's actually able by the end to come forward and tell her father that one, she's in love with a water man, and two, that she doesn't really want the store anymore, and she goes off to live her own life in another city where she becomes a glassmaker. It's a really beautiful story. I really enjoyed it, and let me know what you guys think. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it, as Fantana would say? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And the rest of our links, like I said, are in the description. You can follow us on gaming sessions for gaming content, movie sessions, or uh, song concessions for movie content, or Crazy Rocky for variety content, or the Tribe Podcast for a podcast that we do. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Spell or a chance just to open up a newer crowd